Right. Uh, so, do you want to apologize in advance? Um, you might be noticing the quality of my voice right now. And that is because I have a cold that seems to have gotten to my throat. Um, a lot of lozenges are being sucked. Ironically enough, I have to cancel a uh, doctor's appointment. You know, it's like, it's nothing serious. I just got a cold and, you know, you just got to rest and take care of it. So, mm -hmm. Anyway, you know, it's nothing enough for me to stop a week of the broadcast, but it's something that's going to be noticed upon, I think. So, just putting that out there in the open. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got four games this week. Three reviews, one early access impressions. The first of which is Zero Wing. As in, yeah, that You might know this game as being extremely <laughs> not new. I mean, that's a good chunk of the games we cover on this program? Yeah. It's more <laughs> like that this game was retro and mimetic in, like, the early 2000s. Like, uh, Quake 3, according to Wikipedia, 1999... Like, I remember it being around in, like, 2001. Mm -hmm. Which... Anyway, this game needs no introduction, but for those of you who might have missed it, in AD 2101, war was beginning. I think, like, three people would get that reference, Golix. I mean, that's the liter That's the opening crawl. Yeah. Which... By the way, isn't from the arcade game. It's from the Genesis version. Mm -hmm. The European uh, version, in fact. Like, yes. We never got Zero Wing on the Genesis until... <coughs> 2020. You know, long after the infamy of all your base are belong to us had hit hit and crested on the internet mm -hmm. yeah it looks like the genesis or rather mega drive was a uh, european release mm -hmm. <coughs> oh. so this game cannot escape the meme God, no. I mean, in fact, even this version has it. Like, uh, if you go to the menu, Petty, and go look for the opening, it'll mm. play it. Fair. But I will restrain myself from trying to do the voices. The thing is, the opening on this is a bit weird. Because they went back and they cleaned some of it up, but they didn't do it in other places. Mm -hmm. Like, it's this weird half-step. Mm. You know, it has some of the most famous lines, but others, they're properly translated. I, I, and I weird. mean, they couldn't, they couldn't get rid of everything because, oh god, the pissed-off fandom? Maybe. 80% of this game's recognition is its memes. Yeah, because truth be told, I mean, I'm it's sure we're not... going to spend some time talking on what does, or more accurately, probably doesn't particularly stand out about it as a side-scrolling shooter. I mean, that is the question to ask, I suppose. You know, beyond the meme, beyond the jokes, beyond the decades of infamy, <clears throat> does it hold up? And the answer is kinda. It is at least okay. We have definitely played bad, bad side-scrolling shooters on this podcast. Yes. I'll be honest, uh, playing this... Um, it doesn't even look show? bad, just like... No, like... Average? Yeah. Yeah, that... 
that's about where I landed on when I first played played it on a Genesis emulator in the uh, uh, early 2000s. This is an okay game, and... <clears throat> you know, without the goofy translation, yeah, this would have been uh, either lost to the uh, history banks of time, or, you know, it would have been one of the more minor members of the Topolan Collection. Because it certainly doesn't have a long series like, say, Darius or Gradius or any of them. Well, it's also, this isn't uh, Topolan's bread and butter. They made plenty of shmups, but they made uh, vertical shmups, by and large. That's where they excelled at. In fact, this was their last uh, horizontal <coughs> uh, spaceship shooter. Ah. And yeah. so, so no, somebody set up us the bomb. But yeah, like I said, it's in this weird half state. Mm-hmm. It is you. See, they they got some of it, but then they went and cleaned up some of the others. Why? Why did you do that? All your face are belong to us. Yes. I mean, that could It's funny because apparently in the actual Japanese lyrics, uh, Katz is uh, rather eloquent and, like, sarcastically polite. Mm hmm. Like, right there, thank you for your cooperation, you know? Yeah. That's not what he says originally. Mm hmm. I'm aware. Yeah. <clears throat> so yes, this cat's terrorist guy and or group is taking over all of the United Forces' bases, and so this one ship's uh, surviving crew launches all their space fighters to go shoot down cats or whatever. It's a shmup. The story yep. isn't really that important. Indeed. No. Most, most of the time for this era, your story was in the manual. Yep. Yeah, if honestly, that, as far as far as for the age goes, this is not a bad cinematic opening. No, no. In Which fact, makes sense like if it's descended from an arcade attract mode screen. Yeah, honestly, this was ahead of the curve. Uh huh. Um, because we're talking 1990 here, I think, in terms of the Genesis conversion. Something like that. And yeah, you. Didn't really get the track screens like that in shmups. At least on, like, base Genesis. You got some of it on Sega CD stuff. Like, oh, yeah. Bionic Arm comes to mind, but... Oh, that's a different field entirely. Yeah. Um, CD-based stuff was all about the presentation, especially in the early days. That's and literally it... the main advantage it had. Mm -hmm. I mean, you had to take advantage of the format some way. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, getting back to the main crux of the review here, you know, does this game hold up? And I would say it's a, a perfectly cromulent uh, shmup, mm -hmm. but no more than that. Doesn't really matter the version either, like... It was this is definitely one of those. If I saw it on the shelf at a game store or at like a blockbuster, I'd rent it for a weekend. But I don't know if I'd go go about the making it a permanent part of my collection good enough, you know? Yeah, having played it, I keep, I keep coming back to. I can see why North America didn't get this. I mean, this was hitting at the same time as the Thunder Force series. To name one example. Oh, okay, admittedly, kind of the Mawar effect for the CRT filter they had in some of these is kind of cool. Mm. It's not just a regular CRT filter, so I guess points for that on the conversion team. Yeah. But it's still, you know. Yeah. And honestly, it's always felt it's a bit too derivative of R type and Gradius. Oh, yeah. Not that that's. 
It's not a bad thing. It's, like it's not Batman bad to copy the hard. at the time king. Yeah. And, and this thing does bring in its own unique voice in the, Aside from the memes. Caesar beam. I yeah. think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, prisoner beam, I think, is what they're calling it in the translation, but yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, the point is, uh, what you do with that is you grab an enemy and you can either use it as a projectile or a shield. Mm -hmm. Though, honestly, that's a really goofy gimmick to have in a serious sci-fi schmuck, if I'm being mm -hmm. honest. Admittedly, it's more useful for grabbing the super bombs, because mm. those are unbreakable, as far as I can tell. Mm -hmm. But, like, it's kind of cool to just, you know, yank an enemy if you know that shit's about to go down. Yeah. And the good news is, this game has states. Mm -hmm. It, it is has a states, it has shooter. full rewind, slowdown, and fast forward. Yep. Which I think it puts it above Tiger Heli, which we reviewed not too long ago. Because yes. I think that only had the speed up, uh, speed up and rewind. Don't remember a slow. Mm -hmm. I, I could be misremembering. Which for a game like this, slow is appreciated. Yeah, yeah. Even if it does make me feel like I'm playing a sh Super Nintendo shmup at times. I kind of wish, like, for if I'm using this on Xbox controller. If I could kind mm -hmm. of modulate the slow or the slow with how hard I press on the trigger, that would be kind of interesting, but I know the programming on that would be not worth <laughs> the effort. Hmm. Still. Yeah. You got options. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah. In terms of playing the game. And if you want to play it normally, you can do it. Yeah. I think there um, is even an option to just unbind the state and um, uh, rewind keys. <coughs> mm -hmm. So if you want the original Zero Wing experience, it's there. Yeah. Well, min uh, minus all of the translation fuckery, but... You weren't getting yeah. that again anyway. If you want that, there are plenty of videos of the All Your Base meme on YouTube. I, I was stuff. about to say YouTube's got you covered, lad. Yeah, I will say one thing I don't like is it took from the other type school of uh, checkpoints. Yeah. Again, yeah. luckily you can mitigate this with the rewind button. Yep. Like, never been a fan of you die in a shmup and you start at a checkpoint. Not only at a checkpoint, but at zero. Mm. It's like, yeah, thanks. Now I'm at a harder part of the game with uh, less weapons, and uh, you're expecting me to just pick up from that. Yeah, yep. it's like it unless the game is extremely generous with power up drops shortly after your you respawn to allow you to like respec or whatever. It's. <sighs> It's not the most generous, but I have seen less generous games, if that makes sense. Mm hmm Yeah. I mean, you could do... Like, you could do harder uh, for the Toaplon themselves. Mm hmm But, uh, anyway... In terms of the power-up system, uh, you get three powers. Um, trying to remember what they call what they're called. Uh, like, let's just go to the uh, the start menu thing, and it'll mention them. Yeah, because I don't remember the call offhand. And yeah, here's kind of a little better play. Because I am not that great at this game. <laughs> oh, I can't even fast forward this. Ah, yes. Oops. Those are the power up containers. There are speed ups. There we go. Because speed ups. Yeah. Vulcan unit. Right. Yep. Because anyway. someone decided that speed ups 
for a rational thing to have be a graded power up in freaking shoot 'em ups. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're and then here. Each and of the back. same weapon you get levels that up, but if you get a different weapon, you lose the all the levels. Yep. Hmm. It's I not remember in Darius point. Twin it knocks you down a couple of levels, but if you have a bunch and change, you don't start from zero. Yeah. I mean, it's the it's not the most complicated uh, system going, especially yeah. since we do have, you know, this is 1989. We've had the likes of Darius and uh, Gradius and Salamander appearing on the scene. I think I can see why they stepped out of the horizontal schmuck game. Mm -hmm. which, which again, this isn't bad, but compared to contemporaries both on the console and the arcade side, this is looking a bit creaky already. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Just... And to be clear, my, my objection with that is mostly that it usually means they start the game slower than you want it to be and usually have the ability to upgrade to faster than you'd want it to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is never, you know, good. Yeah. That being said, it has a really good enemy design. Mm hmm. Not exactly. Many of them do. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what you're blasting at, other than they work for cats. Mm hmm. Like, somehow he found a way to get a demon eye to work for him. So he's got that going. Yeah. Behold anyway. the beholder. Wait a second. Hold on. We can't call him that. <laughs> No, definitely not a beholder. The uh, eye tyrant. That's a deep cut. <laughs> anyway, I said, you know, and that's the other thing. Once you get past the, you know, the infamy and the memes, there's not too much to talk about here. Mm hmm. Like, you know, yeah, this game probably would have been forgotten to the annals of times, if not the memes. Yeah. And on balance, it's less historically significant than the uh, Tiger Heli game we covered last time. Mm -hmm. You know, at least in in the pantheon of Toaplan uh, shmups. Mm hmm. So, anyway, um, in terms of pricing, this game retails standalone for $7.99. And comes in the Toa Plan Arcade Shoot 'em Ups One Bundle because, of course, it did. You know, like I said, no matter how remarkable or unremarkable this game actually is, it's one of the headliners. You know, the all your base meme. While you know, clearly we are away, well away from the time when that was dominant, it still lives. Like, mm -hmm. any time you mention this game, like when this thing hit the Nintendo Switch Online service, what did they have? All your base. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, that is the legacy here. Mm-hmm. You know, so of course this is going to show up, this is going to show up in the first wave. You know, alongside other... Toa Plan Classics, Twin Cobra, Outzone, and Truxton. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, it's uh, probably if you... It's probably best if you pick up the Shoot 'em Ups 1 bundle together, because I really couldn't recommend this on its own. How Not much is the bundle to, on its own? Like, bundled together. <laughs> yeah. Like, $8 for this on its own... Yeah, I do. I still feel the same way I've always felt about it. It's a competent game. And that's about it. Oh, yeah, the bundle is, what, 15? Mm hmm So, yeah, def and you get three games in it. So, yeah, go get the bundle. Mm-hmm. All right. So, yeah, that'll about do it for Zero Wing. Anyway, uh, be sure to tune in after the break as Petty Fan will be reviewing Loco Sort. <coughs>